Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn love reading. And this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, leave what does not resonate, as that may be meant for someone else. All right, so we're going to get uh, Angel Answers card for overall energy, a Romance Angel card for overall energy. We're going to use our Animal Oracle Tarot to look at what you may possibly be struggling with within the relationship or love or loving yourself or, you know, that type of a thing. Um, what you may need to look at and possible future energies coming in for you. All right, so let's get an Angel Answers. For Capricorn, love reading, angel answers. We have you ready. Oh, we like that one, especially when it comes to love. Okay. Let's get a romance angel. Romance angel for Capricorn. Romance angel for Capricorn, love reading. I'm kind of feeling this one. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, which I love that because I also feel like that goes with your ready and it is safe for you to love. Sometimes we kind of question that. We're like, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to get hurt. We're kind of surrounding ourselves with that negative energy, but I feel like you've kind of worked on yourself and you've gotten to the point where you are ready, where you are ready to open up. You are ready to take down your walls. All right, so Capricorn love reading. What are they struggling with? Capricorn love reading. What are they struggling with? All right, that, oh, we have two that fell out. We have struggling with, I love this card. It's like so cool. Reclaiming your power. Struggling with reclaiming your power. And then we have struggling with truth transcends illusion. What is the truth about a situation? Okay, reclaiming your power. All right, what does Capricorn need to look at as far as a love reading? I feel like this one. Koala spirit's coming out a lot lately. All right, spirit has a plan. And future energies for Capricorn love reading. Future, we have, oh, I love this one. I think it's very pretty. We have scarab beetle spirit. Magic works through you. And I feel like that goes back to reclaiming your power, power and realizing that you have the power. You have the magic to make things happen. Oops. Oh, we forgot bottom. That's why I'm like, where does this go? Bottom of the deck, we have the elephant spirit learning from the past, okay? Learning from those decisions, those choices, those relationships that you've been in the past, realizing what you don't want, figuring out what you do want, figuring out how you don't want to be treated, figuring out how you do want to be treated. That you have the power to make those decisions to choose what you let into your life. All right, so let's get some tarot. What is Capricorn struggling with in love, relationships? What is Capricorn struggling with? All right. So we have Ace of Pentacles that could represent the physical connection within a relationship that you maybe let a relationship go so far, but then you're like, no, I don't want to get to the point where it's physical. Um, struggling with seeing things from a different perspective and struggling with coming into your own power, right? Reclaiming your power, feeling weak. We also have the Ace of Cups that came up, your relationships, your feelings. How do you look at yourself? How do you see yourself? What is the truth about how you really feel? What is the truth about your situation? If you're in a relationship, what is the truth about that, right? Are you romanticizing about a relationship? Are you making it out better than it actually is? Are you saying that, you know, you're okay with accepting some negative behavior, but inside you're really not? Um, I feel like you're not really seeing the truth of a situation because, again, you're struggling with the hangman, which is seeing things from a different perspective and feeling like you're in your power, like you're not feeling that because you're struggling with that because I feel like that represents this and I feel like this represents that. 
And like I said, the aces are new beginnings and the pentacles can represent um, physical. And sometimes we can struggle with that within a relationship. It could be just how you're feeling physically about yourself, right? Sometimes we beat ourselves up about because we're not looking like those um, Instagram photos or, you know, whatever those things are um, that we're putting high standards on ourselves that really no one can meet because of all the filters and everything. You know, are we having unrealistic um, expectations about ourselves that we're putting on ourselves? Again, what you need to look at is the relationship that you have with yourself, the feelings that you have for yourself. What is it that you want within a relationship? Realizing that you have the power to make changes, that you have the power to take control of what it is that you receive and what, is, what it is that you push away. Dreaming, resting, taking time out, figuring out what do I want, what do I not want, right? Realizing that magic works through you, coming out of the shadows, right? Coming out from behind, being the forefront and saying, I'm not going to accept this. I am not going to tolerate this. This is what I want, right? This is how I feel. This is how, this, these are, this is what I need in a relationship. You know, if it's, because I feel like it's kind of, I feel like it's kind of for someone that's single and you're kind of going through those things and you're like, I don't really know if I want to start dating again because I don't want to go through what I went through in the past. And I feel like I always gave myself too much to other people and I don't want to do that again. But it's within your power to realize, to say, okay, I'm not going to accept that from the past, right? Because you're ready and it's safe for you to love is that you're realizing what you're not going to accept. You realize what do you need in a relationship, right? You're realizing that. What is your Ten of Cups? You're looking at your Ten of Cups because you are realizing what that means to you and you are going after that Ten of Cups and you are making that happen, right? That you're not going to let things from the past, you're not going to let other people, you know, get in your way that you're ready to make those choices and I feel like this goes with you're ready right for that ten of cups bottom of the deck we have the hermit Virgo looking within knowing that relationships take twists and turns but that you're ready to have that partner to help you with those twists and turns to experience life and to have those ups and downs but to know that how you want to handle it and, and that you're going to hang in there e even in the tough times, knowing what it is that you want and you need in a relationship, that if you're getting that fulfillment from that person, you're having that amazing communication where the two of you can work through things, that you're speaking your truth, right? That you're coming into your own power, that you're speaking your truth and you're saying to that person that if there's something that you're not happy with, that you're able to speak up and you're able to say that and you're able to communicate with that person and you've chosen a person that will listen to you and will, will work through that with you, that you can manage those twists and turns in your life right that you can handle those better because you know you have a partner that's there for you because you're making better choices for yourself you're making that ten of cups choice for you that you've come into your own power you know what you want you know what you don't want all right look at that i love it nine of cups i love it nine of cups that's exactly what i was just saying you know what you want and you know what you don't want I love it. I love it when I have this feeling and then the cards come out and it's exactly what I was feeling. All right. Death card, Scorpio, letting go of what doesn't work for you, letting go of the past, not comparing this person with other people, ready to transform, ready to change, ready to make those decisions that are best for you, looking up at all different sides about a situation, hanging in there, right? Um, Sometimes we just want to rush to the end to see that person, but I feel like it's kind of those emotions and those feelings and that relationships are about the journey. It's not about the end point. It's about learning the ups and downs and going through relationships and feelings and starting new and starting fresh and taking that leap of faith of putting yourself out there when you feel that you're confident when you feel that you're ready when you feel like you have things under control and that you're if you see yourself 
um, going back to old relationship patterns, if you see yourself accepting behavior that you used to accept that turned out to be negative and you're like, wait a minute, you know, if you see yourself accepting red flags, you're like, wait a minute, no, not going to do that. No, went down that path. I know where that's going to go. Learning from that past, right? Having that relationship that you see face to face, that you understand each other, that it's a partnership, that you're making better choices for yourself. You're actually taking those actions to make sure that you know, you're coming out of the shadows, you're speaking up, you're saying, you're communicating with the part, you feel like, yeah, I'm going to, I want to communicate. I want to speak how I feel. I want my voice to be heard that maybe in relationships in the past, your voice was not heard, right? <clears throat> not worrying about those things that you can't control. Yes, there's going to be moments where you're going to have struggles in a relationship, but not giving up, right? Not worrying about those times when you have those tougher times, because if you're, if you're saying, this isn't going to work, this isn't going to work, and if that's the energy that you're putting out in a relationship that it's not going to work, that they're going to hurt you, that they're going to do this, well, you know what? What are you manifesting? <clears throat> it's not going to work. They're going to hurt you, right? You're putting that energy out. So not putting that negative energy out there, that catching yourself and saying, this will work. I will get through it. I am going to work on it. I made a good choice. I am in my 10 of cups, right? I'm not going to let that nine of swords bother me. I'm going to look at things. I'm going to learn from the past and I'm going to move forward in a positive way. Hangman, I'm going to see things from a different perspective right? That I'm going to let go of this weight that I'm holding on to. I'm going to let go of those things. I'm not going to have that negative energy in here. That magic works through me. I can make things happen. It's all about that energy that I'm putting out, that I need to look out for me, right? What do I want? What do I not want? What will I accept? What will I not accept? If I see red flags, I'm not going to ignore them. I'm going to bring that to the forefront and I'm going to work through this. You are empowering yourself, right? Reclaiming your power. I love it. <laughs> okay, so let's close out with a Whispers of Healing. Negativity, that's exactly what I was just talking about. Negativity, keeping a check on that, right? Keeping a check on negativity that you may be putting out about things. When that starts to happen, check it, right? Check it at the door. Be like, nope, you're not coming in. You're not coming into this, this head, right? This thought, negativity, push that away. Push it away with the nine of swords no i'm not i'm not going to go there i'm going to stay positive i'm going to work through this keeping a check on that all right thank you so much for watching as always stay positive stay safe and i'll see you next time